Do you come out from behind the bushes? <laughs> no. It's time for our Q&A. Okay, first of all, you don't get to ask the questions. No, they asked me. They did not ask you about it. Yeah, they awesome. said, who's the most awesome? And I said, me. Ayo. 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 Would you come out from behind the bushes? <laughs> no. It's time for our Q&A. I liked it. It was my safety net. Is this your safe space? I can be myself behind the tree. Oh, I think you're always yourself. <laughs> behind the tree, in the bushes, standing by a table. What are we doing? I don't know, Fudd. I was supposed to be playing a video game. No, well, you don't get to have one. Wow! You're grounded from video games. He's grounded from video games today. She can't do that. And she she's not even ready. She don't even have these questions. First I actually question, don't. He's right. I don't. Who is awesome? Oh, well, that's easy. Thanks, guys. Okay, first of all, you don't get to ask the questions. No, they asked me. They did not ask you about it. Yeah, they awesome. said, who's the most awesome? And I said, me. <laughs> oh, wait, no, they said I was awesome. Just go behind your tree, would you? <laughs> I've got more. Oh, now look. Oh, don't, don't you, my he's killing my January decor. You hit me with snow. We're going to talk You're about flocking that. Flocking me. In this Q&A. About the January decor. That was one of her questions. <gasps> don't mess with the flocking. Did you say I'm flocking you? <laughs> you flocked me with your flocking. I'm just going to leave that right there. <laughs> and that's all we're going to say about that. Do you have these questions? I, I don't. You're Why staring you? at a picture of Gray instead of pulling She's up the so picture. She's so cute. Oh. <laughs> Y'all can't close the door. Is Braxton back inside? No, he's still out there. You left your brother outside and closed the door on a poor guy? He's like, what the? <laughs> right in your face. I've been left it open this entire time, but as soon as I'm done, <laughs> don't get to die. I never Not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Burn through a hole 25 pound bag of ice doing that. Or salt. Hi, Braxton. We're in for a storm. Yes. So he was out salting. He assaulted the oh, snow. Oh, you guys are recording. Hi. <laughs> he assaulted the salt. He, no, he assaulted the snow. He, he assaulted it with well, you're not going to salt the salt. Why not? I might salt that, the salt. Then you'd be extra salty. I am extra salty <laughs> tonight, especially after you came out from behind the bushes. Go back. <laughs> How many of these things do you have? Two. I just keep moving them. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's. He really just wants to get to his video game. Don't let him fool you. Okay. Let's see. So first, we're going to pull up off of our Love Jar Vlogs. Oh, internet down. <laughs> We're going to pull up off of our Love Jar Vlogs Facebook page because we got some comments there. Look, I'm having that to scroll That would be Love back. Jar Vlogs at Facebook. Dot com. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Did Let you know? me read the questions. Did you know? That's what they wanted. No, your phone's dead, so you don't get to read the questions. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so, uh, let me tell you. We've been together for many years now. And tonight, as we're riding in the car for the very first time, he tells me this story about this little kid that lived down the street from him and how him and his dad... No, not me, just my dad. No, how his dad, like, used to give this kid a nickname because of how the kid said his name. And so for the first time ever, I heard this story tonight. And I was like, how could you hold out on me and, like, wait all these years to tell me about this? I don't know. You gotta, you gotta tell them. There's probably, there's probably more stuff I, I'll remember in time. <laughs> okay, so from our Love Jar Vlogs Facebook page, it says, I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. It says, what's your favorite food? Okay. Hmm. That's why I'm on a diet, because I like all food. <laughs> no, <laughs> my favorite food is, uh, hmm, 
It's a hard one. It is. It's a hard one because I love pizza. Oh, we could do some categories. I love pizza. Favorite pizza. What's your favorite pizza? We love pizza. What's your favorite food, Aspen? Your... Oh, he just stubbed his oh. toe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you guys are so, bouncing. <laughs> I love pepperoni pizza. I love cheese. I love deep dish pepperoni pizza. So that's probably one of them. But I would take fried fish like cod or something because I really like, I really love fish. Mm. Okay, my favorite food, Chinese food. Like just in general, Chinese food. Yeah. But I'd have to go with pizza. I mean, if it was like, if you had to eat the same thing every day for like a month, I could do pizza. So Chinese food for me. I could do sushi every day for yeah. a month. I know he does not like sushi. I love sushi. Okay. Um, next question, where did you and Matt meet? And, oh, it's a two-part question. So where did oh, you and Matt meet? Well, what I was you... walking down the street and she's a horrible driver and she hit me. <laughs> I fell over, I rolled into the ditch and she kept going and I had to report her. And then it all came down to this whole thing and here I am. I'm done. Like, I'm done. Here you go. I'm done. I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm going behind the bush now. Well, now you guys know how she drives. Okay, so no, really. That's why I'm always driving. We actually met, like... That was all made up. I, yeah. <laughs> we actually met in Although, grades. now that you say it, would you go stand out in front of my car? I've got to make all, well, for well, it. You probably can't get it out of the snow. No, we actually met like in grade school, but I didn't remember her really. Yeah, third grade, we did. And then we met uh, later on. I was in the car business. Um, met we through mutual people that we knew that came, you know, that were customers of mine. And then. Well, we saw each other at karaoke one yeah. night. Yeah. And, uh, well, we've kind of told this story before. I was telling my friend that I was with at the time that, that was a big he was mean in high school. <laughs> Wow. And uh, his his friend thought I was checking him out. Yeah. That he was with, and then he asked my friend's boyfriend at the time about me, and the rest and, is history. Yeah. We ended up ended up together. So she just liked the burns. I did like the burns and the spiky hair. He had this spiky hair. <laughs> I don't know where it went, but I did have it at one time in these big side. Hey, you still got the burns. And then, a couple earrings here and there. He had earrings. Yeah, he even had his eyebrow pierced. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We should, I should, you know what? I'm going to try, if I can remember, I'm going to try to insert a picture up here. Oh, uh, when we my were, crazy shirts and my hair. Yeah, when we were, when we were young and fun. I don't know. I think we're still fun. Just not as young. <laughs> hi, T. Are you going to take a shower? Yeah. Come say hi. I'm gonna see how. We got chairs all in the way. The table's like pulled up against the wall. I gotta move it. Come say hi. 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 Jeez. <laughs> I'm knocking things over. You want to shower? Have fun. It's my shower time. I'm now late. Shower time. Now we're late. Shower late. An hour and five minutes. Shower late? That's what we're gonna call it now. Hour shower and five late. minutes late. <laughs> all right, what's next? She's not counting. <laughs> what do your kids desire to do once they finish school? Well, we found out something new today, or just within the last couple of days about one of our kids. One wants to be a photographer. Yeah, Braxton decided he wants to go to school to be a photographer. Um, Skylar's still probably, he really is wanting to do culinary yeah. or baking, something in that genre. He but, loves food, and he loves yeah. to make up like his Recipes own things. Recipes and sauces. She but made the best he, honey mustard the other day. He, the pandemic has really slowed that up. So, um. Well, he's currently actually working on his school. He's on online school. I've told you guys yeah. about that. And he that's up in the air yet. They're still so low. Ireland says she wants to be a vet. Mm-hmm. Um, they do ballet. And ballet. tea, obviously, tea. she wants to do art. And art with tea. Aspen said um, he wanted to be a writer the other day. Charlie wants to be a mom. She's doing yeah. good. No, she's actually in school <laughs> right in now. She's in school yeah. right now as well. Um, but, uh, and yeah, so yeah, that's about it. 
North Dakota would be a cool place for you to visit. The capital in Bismarck, North Dakota has great views. And I would like to meet you, Matt, and the kids. Well, thank you. That thank was put you. under our comments, so thank you. We and, would love to be able yeah. to do some meet and greets and eventually And I've actually been to North Dakota. I've never... Yeah, I've been to Bismarck. Uh, spent a lot of time when I was driving motor coach in Fargo. There's pictures. We have pictures where I parked the bus right under the Fargo uh, cinema. Um, been to a lot of them colleges up there. So I've, I've spent a lot of time in North Dakota, just not recently. Um, do you... Did you always know you wanted to have a big family? No. No. <laughs> I've always been around kids. Um, I've always been Uncle Matt. That's, I mean, uh, there's kids that aren't even my nieces and nephews that call me Uncle, Uncle Matt. Matt. I've there's been, adults I, that call I, you yeah, Uncle Matt. There's adults Matt. that call me Uncle Matt, So, which is odd. Uh, there's people older than me that call me Uncle Matt. So um, I've been around kids since I was young. Um, actually, there's pictures of me riding my bicycle, doing my paper route, and instead of papers in my sack, I had my niece <laughs> in my paper sack. <laughs> um, so I've always, I guess it's not a shock to me that I have a lot of kids, because I've always been around four, five, six kids all the time. And no, I didn't, didn't know I wanted to have a big family. I actually only thought I was ever going to have one kid, and then we ended up with seven. Yeah. And now a grandbaby. <laughs> and now a grandbaby. <laughs> a grandbaby. Have you ever been to the UK? And if not, would you visit one day? No, I've never been to the UK. I've never been there. I would love to visit the UK. Can I take a boat? If he could walk to the UK or drive, drive. he would. If I could drive there, I'd come visit you next week. <laughs> you could take a boat. I'd take a boat, yeah. I'd take a he, ship. He but does not like to fly. I, I can't blame you. I don't I'm really like to fly not a either. flyer. If I had the opportunity to go, though, I think I'd suck it up and get on a plane and go. What's really funny is when I was 16, I flew in a plane without my parents, like just on a whim, got put in a plane, doing things that like is not normal flying, like flying way low, just above the river and taking pictures and just this weird extravaganza of a weekend um, and loved it in the small little plane. But when we went to Puerto Rico, yeah, commercial plane, no. he's not not a fan. Okay, so that was everything from our Love Jar Vlogs Facebook page. So I'm gonna go into our Instagram. We put a we post have up there. Those things. We do. Mm -hmm. And if you're not following us there, it's just Love Jar Vlogs at Instagram. Or Christy Riverton. Yeah, you can follow me there too. Yeah. I have different I have Check writing content there. How did you guys meet? So we answered that. Also, how can I get the books you wrote? Thank you. Okay, so my books are on, Insta or on Instagram. Instagram. My books are on Instagram. I wish, that'd be kinda cool. That'd Amazon, so Amazon, Barnes yeah. & Noble. Um, all of them are in, on Amazon. I don't think all of them are on Barnes & Noble. Most of them are on Barnes & Noble. You just look Bam. up Christy Riverton, Pen Hollow Chronicles. Mm -hmm. There's four out there at this point. You can get them on Kindle. And then you can get books one and two, Jeweled Embers and Ruby Fires are both in paperback version. Um, and then uh, my last two are right now still currently ebook. I know they've been looking at audiobook. I just don't think they're out quite yeah. yet. And you can hear the kids are super loud. Aspen Fortnite. and Zane are playing Fortnite. video game. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, where can you get memoirs of Matt? Um, oh, wait, no. Right here. Right here. Right here at Love Jar Vlogs. <laughs> what do you want to know? I'll tell you anything. We can sit down and have a great conversation. Maybe we should make a segment. Memoirs with Matt. We'll sit down and I'll tell you stories. Okay. So, oh, I was trying to figure out where the rest of our... Story times with Matt. Story times with Matt. Okay. Story time. What, what are we doing now? We're going into the rest of our comments. So... Where are they at? They're under the post that I put up. Under... On YouTube? We have a YouTube? We have a YouTube community tab, yes. Holy cow. I know, I gotta find it though. I don't know it's, how to It's hard to find. <laughs> she don't know how to operate it. I don't know how to get there. Uh... Oh, you know what? Let me try this. And sometimes, if you guys send us messages and stuff on Facebook, 
and we don't respond right away or we haven't responded we do see them we do read everything that comes in uh, we just mm -hmm. don't always have time to respond uh, I want to thank like the people that send in like weather statements, things like that. Much appreciated. Yes. Uh, we do see them all. Um, you know, we have some fans out there. I know uh, Mr. Nate, he's always uh, sending us uh, stuff and, and letting us know weather and things like that. And uh, Peyton is another one that's always sending us weather uh, related stuff and that kind of stuff. We do see this, you guys. Um, we do read it. We thank you very much. It's just that we don't always respond if we're, we've, we've been busy. And since you're putting names out there, <laughs> there is someone that has been asking in our comments for the longest time. And the only place we used to do this is on lives, but we just haven't had time to do lives as often anymore. So Frank, you have been asking us to give you a shout out for the hey, longest Frank. time. Hi, Frank. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it so much. So I wanted to make sure we that we, we did that. For we you. appreciate so, all of you. We do. Um, it's hard to believe, you know, especially this time of year when we're going through different things and that how far we've come with this and how far it's come. I mean, we've thought about different times to just stop um, and stop doing it. We don't know why we keep doing it, honestly, we, except we like to. And we um, like hearing from you guys. Yeah, we, we like do. putting the memories together. Um, and now, coming into this this year, you know, you'll be able to follow along with me. It used to be I did Pudgy Man Journals when I was on a weight loss journey before. Um, Pre-COVID, gave up um, like I shouldn't have, and now we're going to kind of do that here on this channel as well. Yeah, you're going to um, see Matt taking over the so vlog a little bit. Take over a little bit, not too much. Um, and... Uh, Use you guys people. for he's adding to yeah it adding to it you guys will um, be my motivation uh, keep me going and it uh, you know I've been doing this I've been into this diet uh, about a week and a half now it's really going well I can I can feel it see it already so it doesn't take long before you really start seeing it when I go full core into it um, it's just being strong and sticking with it so that's what we're gonna do this time so yeah he came in the bathroom and he's like hey do you do you I see got, it right here cheeks he's eating his cheekbones back so. got cheekbones see that <laughs> can't get hair but i got cheekbones <laughs> so where's our other questions okay so monique says would you do another cooking video we've actually been talking about that because a lot of people ask we have our love jar life channel um but i found it i kind of talked about this uh, in one of our recent videos is I found it was a lot to keep up with both and I I realized I wasn't getting the vlogs out that I wanted to. I was missing things that I hadn't missed before. So I decided to make vlogging once again my priority as well as my writing and then focus Love Jar Life a little bit differently. Just putting videos out as I get them made and putting them out for you. But what our content on there is going to end up being is still our hauls. So if you like hauls, that's a great place to find them. I'm not really gonna do cleaning videos or um, decorating videos as much over there anymore because I just kind of throw that stuff in here now for you guys to see because I think it's more like up to date um, because I'm doing it in a vlog style and I think that's just a better way to do it. Um, but we're gonna put recipes on there too. So yeah. as we get a chance to make cooking videos, sure. and when Skylar comes up with some of his stuff that's super tasty, we'll throw it in there. Stuff Matt, Matt's got some great recipes to I share. Mm -hmm. So we'll throw that stuff on there. So we will definitely do more cooking videos. Just won't be here, it'll be at Love Jar Life. So if you like that sort of thing, go over there and subscribe too, because that's what you're gonna find. Yeah. So let's see. Where did you and your husband go to college and how did you meet? Um, so we did the how did you meet? Did you meet? <laughs> That's um, a big I question. went to uh, a technical school mm -hmm. um, and learned some technical training with electronics, DJ equipment, things like that. Um, and then I went to actually the, my love, believe it or not, and what I wish I could do every day and my back just didn't handle it, um, is I went to cosmetology school. I love doing hair. Um, I was very good at it. Um, but my back just can't handle it. I had back surgery at the age 18, so a um, lot to deal with and, and arthritis and pain back there. So being on your feet like them uh, ladies and gentlemen that do hair do, it's a lot. You can hear Aspen laughing. <laughs> He's so loud. He's excited to play with his brother though. 
Yeah, and I um, and then you got licensed as an insurance oh, yeah. agent. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm a licensed agent. I've been to lots of sales seminars and sales training. Um, been in sales all my life. Uh, in you know, I hold state licensing for uh, sale, you know, insurance sales. So that's what I do. Mm -hmm. And I went to community college, and then for a little while there, I was going for writing, and I actually. Um, still would like to continue on. Um, Life go got in the way. Yes, basically. yes. Basically. Children, babies. Babies. Um, and then I actually, believe it or not, I actually went to Walmart University. Yeah, Did you know they have was, a university? They do. They do. <laughs> they do. And I actually have um, a business management degree through them. So, yeah. And that's what I did for a long time. And I was managing stores for many years. I was in management for a long time. And then... I decided to stay home and work on my writing and homeschool our kids. Yeah, that's work from home. Basically, it. Yeah. Okay, and then let's see. Uh, how many pets do you have, if any? One. No, One we have two. <laughs> One. One sole survivor out of everything. He is the strongest, most awesome little clownfish there is it's and that's McConaughey, McConaughey the, mm. the clownfish <laughs> he's been through worlds of problems with learning a new fish tank and salt water but he has he's been salty a, he's salty he's a trooper man he <laughs> is there and and uh swims with me every day what's your favorite candy when you have a sweet tooth oh, that's tough mm. i like them all <laughs> Man, what's my go-to candy? Okay. Mm. Red vines? Mm. I love them. That's not my go-to. Fruit salad. Have you guys had that? Haribo fruit salad. It's like a gummy. They're made with real fruit. Mm. That's my. My go-to. Oof. I like anything fruity, honestly, when it comes to candy. <sighs> my go-to candy. You like Reese's Pieces a lot. No, if if I could find it and I can't, um, I wish I could find it. Would be my very favorite candy bar is the caramel chocolate ones, like the school kids used to sell <gasps> way back oh, when. Yeah. Like I don't even know they who do. makes them. No, that's not the same. The one a dollar. No, no, no. High V. They sell them in every once in a while. They sell them. They're like Unlock fundraiser the chocolates. Unlock the truck, please. Would you forget? Why? My switch. Oh shoot! I'm glad it's not that cold. I'm not sure I locked it yet, but there's the key. Um, no, they aren't the same either. Like the original, that would be my favorite. Like if I could find Fundraiser a box chocolates. of those, I'd buy a box. No, I'm not that I need them. But um, door. Ding ding ding. Uh, Front door. Door. <laughs> uh, which call it? That would probably be my second go-to. I love a witch, McCallit, and then Reese's Pieces. Yeah, he does. Oh, and he likes those wallaby licorices. Oh, I love wallabies. Those Australian licorices. He really likes those. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do you think 2022 is going to be a good year? I do. Absolutely. I do. We got lots planned, lots of vacation stuff coming up. Um, plan to go back to cabin again. Yes. Um, plan to have a nice 4th of July again. Um, Lock the door, please. He's making faces at us. Just did. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a great year. Uh, a lot of goals to hit. I think I think any year can be a great year. Yeah. I mean, I get that there's all kinds of circumstances that can happen, but I really think it's what you make of it when it comes to how good a year is going to be. I know that there's times where where you can't, you know, and their life gets in the way, but I think for the most part. It's kind of what you make of it. So, and I think we have. I personally have lots of goals um, with work, with my health, with weight loss, with everything. Um, and I think that that's going to be a good year. I mean, to really reach some goals, short term and long term, mm -hmm. it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, get some books written this year. That would be good. Oh, mm -hmm. better, no, I'm not writing. Oh, come on. I I want that story, the Matt's memoirs. That's you kind of promised. I think you kind of promised it, don't you? No, I turned it into a segment. Story time with Matt. <laughs> Story time with Matt. 
Okay, um, I'm curious about the decorations in January. Is it po a popular thing to do in America? No, it is not. It's not a popular thing to do in America. Um, I started decorating for January because January, especially where we live, is such a gray and cold month. There's not a lot of sunlight. And so it was just a way to make the best of this time of year to kind of make it homey. And we, she really started doing it. <laughs> there, <laughs> they are having fun. I don't um, even know what he said. She really started doing it four or five years ago. Um, when we just, the winter times, we just really hunker down. We don't do a lot. Um, we just, you know, we don't go a lot of places. And, and so she started making the house look, you know, nice. So mm -hmm. for us here, because especially now that I work from home, you know, it used to be we we're on the go a lot. As you yeah, guys so I didn't know. do it. Really. So now with working from home, you know, I get off work and it's like, ah, I don't want to go anywhere. And a lot of times we'll just go for a ride, you know, but, uh, you know, so she started doing it four or five years ago and just kind of built on it. Well, yeah, because it was one of those things that if I didn't take the Christmas decorations down, Shortly after Christmas, they would stay up. I mean, they could be up till April. There you was know? I mean, a you know, year they were up they, till they April. Were, they were, and the tree would be up, and then, but then, and I think part of that was there wasn't much to decorate for until Easter, and I mean, you've got your smaller holidays in between, but I would take down the Christmas decorations, and it'd be like you couldn't really put up anything that looked really summery or spring because it was right. still there's snow on the ground. And so this was kind of that like in between, take Christmas down and yet still have something nice and pretty up. But believe it or not, there's a lot of people around here that still have their Christmas decorations lit yeah. and up. We don't do that, we stop January 1st, we stop lighting. Um, I had, We didn't even have them on this year because the weather was bad. No, then. it got bad, so I think Christmas night was really the last night we lit them up. Yeah. Oh, I lost the questions. So yeah, that's just, it's not a, it's, it's not an American thing. thing. It's an, but some it's people an do thing. it and we do it. <laughs> um, also, how many tornadoes, oh, so this was a two part question. Um, also, how many tornadoes do you think will hit your town? I hope none, <laughs> but bad weather. You know, I can't even predict it because in December, just last month, we had 43 in one day in the state yeah, of Iowa. Yeah, I originally said 21, I mean, and I was wrong. No, she was wrong. They they confirmed 43 actual tornadoes in the state of Iowa in one day. I mean, that's crazy. And it's not it's not that it's not heard of. I mean, I've never seen it happen. No, that I remember. That I yeah, that I remember in December. Like usually, you think the severe storm weather ends in like the fall. And like for us as kids, like when we were younger, it was like early fall it ended. Mm -hmm. We didn't really have storms after like late summer. And now I'm, I thought October was crazy when yeah. they happened on Tierland's birthday and now December. But you know, in the Midwest Iowa, it's known for freak weather. I mean, before we were born 71, two or three, they got, 20 some inches of snow on April 17th or something like that. I mean, a ridiculous snowstorm in the almost the end of April. So you never know. Okay, let's see. Um, ha are you ever going to write a book about you and your experiences? Yes, Matt's memoirs. <laughs> Matt's memoirs. <laughs> but personally, uh, maybe sometime down the road, a long time down the road probably not for a while yet i don't think i have enough experiences yet or like we have enough experiences yet i could write a lot of crazy story stuff yeah fun yeah, i'm just <laughs> I'm saying <laughs> someday he may tell you the fun story yeah, i don't know. know not today <laughs> you have to wait like i had to wait and she had to wait a long time 20 years <laughs> What made you decide to become a homeschooling teacher? And do you have the marks and grades registered to the county's school board district? Okay, so I saw the original version of this question. It was a little bit longer, but basically the question is wanting to know like how we can graduate our kids. I know that's there's a lot of curiosity about that, like um, how we do marks, stuff like that. Does our state recognize it? So. There are like five different ways in our state that you can homeschool. You can do hybrid, basically. You can do completely online. You can do what we do, which is basically we opt out. We don't really have to report anything. Um, or you can 
but then there are, are stipulations to that. Like I can't put my kids into sports through the high school. Bless there, you. Bless you. There are, um, a lot of homeschooling groups now, now though, that have like sports teams that they're coming up with, which is kind of cool. That's like new to me, or at least I'm just learning about it. But for grades and marks, so the way that's done is I don't have to keep grades to show to like anybody within the school. Like our state just doesn't require that. Um, and the high schools wouldn't necessarily recognize it. So if I wanted my kids to get credit through high school, they would have to physically go to the high school. Um, but our state recognizes it. They just don't issue a diploma. And we, we as homes, we what? keep track of everything as a transcript for college. Right. So we actually That's have where a it's transcript. Important. That's where it's important is at the college level. So we actually have a transcript um, that they can you know, see what they're, they've done, you know, through. So it's not like they just, oh, well, they're homeschooled. We don't know what they did. No, no. we have a transcript of everything that they've done. Um, and it was a big process for us to decide to homeschool, um, you know, and, and not naming kids. I would never do that. Um, you know, I remember uh, one of our children, you know, being put on the bus to go to school and, you know, and it was a Just, struggle. It was a struggle for me as a parent watching him, you know, or her um, be on that school bus and in the face and and because it wasn't comfortable for them. It was very uncomfortable with, with being and autistic. It, so And it's not that we don't believe in letting kids have uncomfortable moments and stuff no. like that because it's important it's important to build character and to teach them to have strength of their own we totally believe that but sometimes there's a point where it's not a matter of discomfort it's actually a matter of health of whether or not you're doing that so originally homeschooling our kids started Virtually. um just with yeah we did virtual school for a mm -hmm. while but that is not homeschooling they're two very different things it's just basically it's Public school, school at home. Yeah, at home. Yeah. Basically. Um, like Skyler, he is doing a school at home. I don't school him. Um, he's doing a self-paced learning, learning at home. Does. So he's not homeschooled. No. He is virtual school. Right. He's going to a completely different school than the rest of the kids are. Right. So, um, but originally it started for health reason that we were homeschooling kids. And then we switched over as things changed within our state for like the way virtual schooling was done. It was being done more like a public school scenario at home, which that would be fine if public school were an option for certain children that we have. And, and it wasn't. So we had to look at other options and homeschooling was one. And you know, my mom had said for a long time. She's like, why don't you just homeschool your kids? I think you'd be able to do it. And I'm like, no, I could a, never do that. But she was also, <laughs> you have to remember, she was an income source at that yeah. time too. So that was a big decision to become a one income family. Yeah. Basically. So I had to step up and say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Um, so we had to restructure our whole entire life to, to be able to homeschool. Yeah. Um, and I mean completely restructure everything, but it worked out and these kids have done fantastic and done things that I never thought they could. Um, I look back and wish I was homeschooled. <laughs> uh, to, to be I wish I'd done it you. from the beginning. Nothing against public schools. I have, uh, my best friend is a teacher in the public school system. Great teacher. Um, yeah, he was the best just, man at our yeah, wedding. <laughs> yeah, so nothing against public school systems. I think they're great. I have um, an uncle that's a teacher. It just, for our family, it worked. And, and this is, and it, I'm going to say it may not be for every family, but for it is, us it worked. You know, and I say that all the time when people are like, oh, you know, what are your thoughts on homeschooling? My thoughts on homeschooling are that it's really, it's up to family dynamics. It is not for everybody. It's a huge commitment. It's a lot of work. I honestly didn't think I could do it. I didn't have the faith in myself to be able to do it. And it takes a couple of years to really get comfortable with what you're doing and yeah. like, to know what you're doing. Like I researched and researched and I looked at all these resources and I had a basis to go by. But if I could look back five, six years ago and know 
then what I know now, our homeschool would have looked a lot different right. that many years ago. And I think I was a lot harder on myself a long time ago than I am now. And I think with me traveling and sales for so long that I did helped with the homeschooling because it brought them together to give them something to do the four days out of the week that I was gone. Um, and they could work on school and, and be productive and then that dad would come home and we'd go and do whatever we were going to do. Um, now, looking back on it with working from home, I don't know what we would do, you know. <laughs> but So we restructure. We were resilient and try to work with what we got. That's yeah. for sure. So to answer your question, we actually have to uh, put a diploma together. And our first one was done this year or last year with With Tierlin. Um, And I had to learn like everything I needed to do. I knew everything I needed for transcripts for college. And that's the big thing. Um, And it's probably the one piece of advice I'll really give people when they want to know about homeschooling. But what I look at, besides what your state requires, because we have to keep records. So I do. I keep a year's worth of records. Every year I keep what we did the previous year, and then I just roll it over. Right. Um, and that way I can show progress in the kids, because that's what's important, is being able to show that they're making progress. Um, but my biggest piece of advice when it comes to homeschooling is look at the colleges that you think you would want to be able to send your kids to, or especially as they get into high school or getting closer to that, you kind of have an idea. Um, Like if it's a college in your state and look at the hardest requirements, like what schools have the hardest requirements and that's how I put our high school that's together. That's how you pace it off the hardest. Yep, so that when you send a transcript in, you can say, oh, well, they've done this. Because that's where it's going to be important. When the colleges want to look at the transcripts, they want to see what they've done. And so that's where our record keeping is in the transcripts, in those grades and stuff. So and I hope that answers like the question. Like she said, the first graduation was, and I did that like I do the graduations. And He's our principal. This, <laughs> Said I wouldn't cry, and I did. So that's <laughs> twice I said I wouldn't cry. I married my niece. I said I wouldn't cry, and I did there too. So because I did the ceremony, and yeah. yeah so, but anyway, yeah, we didn't get to take you to that wedding. No, we didn't. That was we didn't all COVID. get to go. So uh, lots of ifs and ands or buts if we could do it, and uh, so it was just the two of us that DJ and I did the ceremony. So and he is having a heck of a good time playing whatever <laughs> he game he's is. playing. Um, let's see. Do you enjoy homeschooling your children? And what was the most challenging subject for either you or the kids? Okay, hands down. Chemistry. <laughs> it it came from in there. It is the hardest subject to teach as a homeschooling parent is chemistry. At least for me to teach them because I don't chemistry is a beast. <laughs> if they want to learn sales skills, uh, I'm good. Um, so we're here. I get to read some now. Right here. No, right here. No, we already did this. I want to do it again. <laughs> You're here. Oh, how Rebecca, is your book he's coming? He's trying to skip your question. <laughs> how is the book? How is your book coming along? Memoirs of Matt's coming along. Great, great, great. <laughs> I'm so curious about what it will be about. Greetings from Hungary. Wow. Wait. Hi. Cool. <laughs> so I'm currently writing, working on three books. So one is a children's book. I actually have it written but it's a whole different process. I'm not taking that through my current publisher. So I've not had to write a query letter to an agent before, and that's what I'm working on. So if you have any experience, drop a comment, let me know, give me some advice. See, <laughs> if you didn't have to write it, if you could just show me up at like a, like the movie Airheads and just throw me in there and be like, hey, look, look. I get her in the door. Be my query letter? Yeah, I'll be, your I'll query be my letter. query man. <laughs> but, but even writing it, I ain't gonna do that. Um, And then I am writing the fifth book in my series, so that's romance. I write romance. And then I'm actually trying to work on a gothic novel. I'm world building though, and that takes a a while to build an entire world. I have the idea, but now I gotta put them all together. So that one could be a while. Hopefully book five will be the year. This one is a cool question. Um, It's one of the the questions that came in. I didn't see this until now. as a family, would you be willing to do a collaboration with a fan so others can have two different perspectives? So, I guess there's a lot entailed with collaboration. Mm-hmm. Um, do we love to meet fans? Absolutely. That's, 
Well, you broke. Oh, time limit? I don't know. I've never had you a time limit happen. Talked that so was much, weird. You broke the camera. <laughs> I think you talked so much. You broke the camera. So, anyway, I don't know what happened. Uh, she would like to know uh, if we do a collaboration with a fan. I'd love to meet fans. I'd love to meet fans. Um, Collaboration-wise, I don't know. I guess it depends. I don't know how that would work. It yeah, it depends, depends on, on what it would be. I mean, we're always open to ideas. Um, well, drop we got us the Love Jar Vlogs uh, Gmail. Uh, feel free to reach out to us. So anyway, we wanted to thank everybody and I thought that the beginning of the year was a great time to do a Q&A and just kind of answer some of the things you guys have been wanting to know. I know you ask a lot of questions and I try to always answer them in the comments. Um, but I think um, we're going to try to start doing some of these more often, doing some question and answers. Maybe like, I don't know, once a quarter or something. I don't know. I'll pop them up like I did on our Instagram and our community tab and um, on our Facebook page. So wherever you're following us, maybe you'll see it then. And uh, for anybody that might be out there that's on a weight loss journey, whether it's 10 pounds, 100 pounds, 200 pounds, um, that wants to follow along probably once a week starting next week, I'll at least chime in and tell you what I'm doing, what's working, what's not working, and how my progress is going. Um, lots, a long way to go, but I've done it before and I know I can do it again. Um, so it's just, uh, I, I'm gonna use you to hold me accountable, which is nice. Um, it's what she's been waiting for for about two years, so. Well, and with him working so much during the day, I think giving, he has this camera, we have this waterproof camera, and it originally was his for his Pudgy Man channel. Yeah. Um, and so I don't get him in the videos as often unless we're like driving in the car anymore, and I'm like, you know, we're missing you on the vlog. So this is a good way. I've started like throwing his camera at him and being like, yeah, she did literally. Like, here, here, come here, on, here. it's charged. Talk uh, to people. But you know, like when I had Pudgy Man journals, I had a lot of people that followed, not a lot, but a lot of, a really tight knit group of people mm -hmm. that followed for weight loss. Um, it was a whole weight it, loss community. It was, and I hit lots of milestones, 100 pounds, 150 pounds loss, things like that, that I need to do again. And I'd love to bring you to along. i link that video. I think we have it um, on here. And it's an emotional roller coaster of, yeah, as anybody knows, that's uh, obese, that um, deals with it. It's, it's hard work, and it's uh, you got to hold yourself accountable because you're there only because of yourself. So um, it's hard to do. Uh, but anybody that's out there that watches our videos that would like to even just be a support, you know, once a week we're going to do that. Um, that'll be kind of a new thing. And uh, just bring everybody along. And, hey, if you're out there on, on a journey, I'd love to hear from you. I mean, yeah. send send that email. I will, you know, if you're, you know. And we have. Michelle sent some mm -hmm. some support, so that was awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So whether it's support or you want support, you, you know, just want, uh, you know, hear what I'm doing or how I'm doing or what you're doing, just feel free to hit that love jar um, vlogs at Gmail and send me an email and I will hear, get back to you on those. And now you're hearing very candidly what it sounds like in our house, in our on, house a on a regular basis, basis when the kids aren't doing school and they're gaming yep. and they're just, it's just crazy doing their noise. thing. It is loud in this house and, and that's we're on, a floor down. Yeah, there's no kids on this floor. <laughs> that's downstairs or upstairs. So Are they in the living room or up in the room? I think they're on the big screen in the living room. In the living room, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's a floor down underneath us and you yeah. can hear them. So because they know that I'm not gaming in my room, so they're down there taking full advantage of the PlayStation that's in the living room. Well, and they're pretty good during the day, too. Like, when he's working, they have to be quieter. So yeah, it's kind of like really after quiet. work, it's like, woo, dad's done. They're like, wait, you're <laughs> off work? They'll ask me the bit, are you off work? Yeah. Woo! And they'll ask me, they'll be like, I can be loud now, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Anyway, but, thanks, you guys. Yeah, thank we you. We appreciate you we being here with us. We appreciate everything you've done for being our fan. it was cool to see all your comments. I was like. It was. I put it out. I was going to do it sooner. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to wait and see if people see it. And all of a sudden, comments were rolling in on all the different sites. And I was like, holy cow. That's so cool. So thank yeah. you. Thank so, you so yeah, much. Thank you. Um, it's awesome. We appreciate you. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye, guys.